Hey, this is YBR back with my summer car. At the end of the last video, I strategically placed my poop collector right here. Because every time I start from that safe spot, these idiots come barreling around the corner. I want to see if they crash into my chalk if it's very obviously in sight. So let's see. Yes, they don't care. They don't care one bit. They're just going to keep crashing into each other. Now my truck is starting to roll away. Okay, great. I'm going to try to go and stop the truck. Okay, there we go. Before we head out, I want to check out the pub because I can't remember what the pub looks like. So I feel like taking a peek in here and seeing what it's about. So you got these two drunkards over here. Whoa! Arms don't usually bend like that. That's just, that's weird, man. That is weird. Oh, look at that. If you actually, like, slide back into the chair, you sit in it automatically. That's pretty cool. Can I reach the slot machine while I sit? Not quite from there. How about right here? Let me gamble and sit at the same time. Okay, I can actually reach it. Cool. All right, let's do a little bit of gambling then. We'll put in 10 MK because that's how much I can afford to lose. And then we got two buttons down here. We got Panos and we got not Panos. Uh, what is Panos? All right, Panos is like bet. So we'll do five bet and spin it. Give me something good. Give me something good. That's not good at all. That's loss of money. And one more. Here we go. All in. This is the last chance I got. And we are done. Done, done, done. Nothing else left. That was a waste of 10 MKs. What we got over here? Coffee, beer, vodka shots, and sausage with fries. And also cigarettes. I'm not going to buy any of that because I'm not that hungry and I'm not that thirsty. And I told my parents I wouldn't drink alcohol. So we're not going to. Because when you drink alcohol, the bones in your arm break. And I don't want that happening. And the table is like rocking too. Man, those guys are crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and head on home. Although I am kind of curious, how much gas do I have? Oh, wait, can I even buy gas? Because normally you'd pay in the store, but the store's closed. But the guy you'd pay is in the pub, so maybe you can. Is there, like any sign on the gas or anything that says like, you can't? No. Oh, but you can't pick up the nozzle. Well, okay, that answers my question there. So we can't get gas until we come back later. Hopefully we have enough gas in this thing. Let's take a peek then. How much gas do we got? Ooh, not so good. Under a quarter of a tank. Oh, I don't like that one bit. I will let this thing heat up and... While it heats up, we can explore the vehicle. We can... Ooh, this is bad. This is really bad. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> I thought I was going to die from fall damage. It's like, nope, we're actually okay. But I do have to flip my vehicle upright, unfortunately. I don't know if I'll actually be able to do this or not. So here we go. Push. 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 Push! Push! Ah. Okay, this is hard. Hey, we can open up the door. Nope, then we fall into it. Yep, I have made a huge mess of things. Oh, look! We could sleep right now. Wait, how how we sleep in this bed right here? I saw it for a second. There we go. <laughs> Just take a nap standing upright, basically. I can't see anything. This thing is all messed up. I don't know what's going on right now. Okay. This is... This <laughs> This is a disaster. Can I even get out of here? Oh, wait, I could probably just punch this thing out, right? Oh, wait, did it already break? Yeah, it broke when it flew into the air. I wonder if saving and reloading will reset my vehicle onto its wheels or not. Like, I know it saves the vehicle's position, but I don't know if it saves the orientation. Like, I don't think this will work, but I might as well try it. It's basically where I'm getting out here. So we'll save real quickly, and then we'll load back in the game and see if it makes any difference. Here's hoping this works, but not hopeful, like I said. And it's still flipped over. Well, it was worth a shot, I guess. Now he's got to try to push it by hand because I don't know of a better way to upright a vehicle. And pushing it by hand is basically like this. You stick your head into it and just wiggle all about. And hopefully you'll actually push it and not end up on top of it somehow. Like it's a ladder. That was not the way that was supposed to go. Come on like this. Up. Up. I hear noises. But nothing's actually happening. Okay, so it turns out that... Oh, I just broke out the glass again. It turns out the tank is not pushable. You have to actually go to the frame of the vehicle and push that, I guess. And unfortunately, I still cannot get it to go. Yes, yes, yes. We are good to go. Awesome. You guys see that? You guys don't even know how to unstuck yourselves. And I just flipped over a truck all on my own. All right, are you warmed up yet? Because I think I left it warming up, didn't I? Oh, that's right. I was going to get gas. Can I get gas now? Let's see. Is it open? Yes, it is. Awesome. Oh, wait, where is the gas uh, thing? It's over on the left. So 
So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of maneuvering. Now here's the question. Can I do it by pushing or do I have to start the car to move it only a few feet? Let's see, push. That's not... Yeah, well... No. That's taking way too long. We're not gonna do that. Instead, we're just gonna go in, start it up, and move it the few feet that needs to be moved. Perfect. Hop on in, and then first gear. And here we go. Perfect. Although I probably need to do reverse, not first gear right there to get this thing lined up. I can't see. Oh my goodness, I was close to hitting those. I was about to say, I can't see the place where you gas up, but I know it's around here. All right, there we go. We'll just leave it running. Who cares? Takes too long to start up anyways. That's why I'm going to leave it running. Pull that off. Give me that fresh diesel. Let's see how much money I have to blow on this one. I wonder what happens if I don't pay. I probably should pay, but I do wonder what happens. Wow, this thing has a big tank. Maybe it's because I left it running it's doing this. Hold on, let me turn it off. Because that seems way too slow. It might just be it takes that long to fill it up, but I want to make sure. Yeah, okay, it's just really, really, really slow to fill up. And there's no way to just stick it in there as far as I know. Wait, what's that hand do? Nope, that's not what I meant. Like, I keep seeing a hand for a second, but then it disappears. It's like only when I move it fast across, it's there. And then it disappears. It's weird. Huh? There we go. Alright, just gotta be patient. Really, really patient. I wish I could have, like, two gas nozzles coming into this thing at once, because that would make it a little less tiresome. Wow. I think this is slower than real life. I'm not even going to make you guys wait. I'm just going to cut this out until it's filled, and I'll tell you how long it took. Okay, that took a while. It took about another three minutes for that thing to fill up, and oh my goodness. That's a lot of money. 925 markas. That's half of the money I have. That's more money than I earned going and collecting the poop. So here's a dumb idea that's probably not going to work just like the last one, but what if... What if we save and come back? Will I still be owing money for the diesel or not? We're gonna find out! Again, I really doubt this will work, but I gotta try it just to check. So, what does the diesel say? Ooh! Does that mean it actually worked? Let's go in the shop and see if the dude's like really angry at me for not paying or something though. So hop on in and then, what you got to say? Hello! Oh! Well, it still says I owe money here, so... The plan was a failure. Let's go and use half of my money to pay for the diesel for this big old truck and then we'll head out. Hop on in. And once again, our windows are functional. You've been through this before, Windows. You're getting blown out, so it's easy to see out this thing. And I should have turned the ignition on while I was paying for everything. Again, I forgot. All right, close this. Did I close that for sure? Did it actually close? Okay, I think that's closed. And the, the, this is still not ready? I was going to say, the truck is ready to go, but no, it's not. All right, there you go. And the guy in the store is still trying to talk to me. It's like, dude, I'm not even in the store. I'm in my truck. I can't hear you. I'm racing away. Bye-bye. So we'll use a low gear just to get moving. And then we'll go to high gear. And off we go. Second gear. And third gear. We're going to get up to fifth gear right in this small area. It's probably going to be stupid. We're going to do it anyways. Fourth gear. Wait, maybe not. Well, I could go into fifth gear, but... Uh, okay, fifth gear. Now, whoa, merge into the highway, merge into the highway. Downshift. Yes, I did not look left or right right there. It's everybody else's job to watch out for me as far as I'm concerned because I have a big old truck. Most of them are in little cars. That one, that one's in a big old bus. But most of them are little cars, and if they crash into me, it's bad for them, and I don't really care for me. At least I would assume. I actually have no idea what happens if you hit a little car with a big truck like this. You might still get hurt, or they might get hurt only. I don't know, and I'm not really in the mood to test it out. I already had one scare of uh, death in this video already. I don't need multiples of those. Although driving at 100 kilometers per hour is one way to get a death scare. Probably shouldn't be going this fast, but the only thing that will slow me down is an actual almost crash. When that happens, then yeah, I'll slow down. If we crash, well, then we're going to restart the game because that's what you got to do when you crash. Which is why I'm trying not to crash. And also why I'm not wearing the seatbelt. You get out of here. You're going to like throw you out the window, man. I don't need no seatbelt. Seatbelts are for losers. Real men just drive along at 120 kilometers per hour with their seatbelt off, bouncing in the seat, almost flying out the windshield because there is no windshield. 
That's what real men do. And I'm actually going so fast, I'm bouncing off the rev limiter here. That is impressively fast. I don't think I could do this corner, though, at those kinds of speeds. I don't think I could do this corner at all. I have messed this up so bad. All right, you know what? Let's just slow it down, get into control, and don't try anything stupid there. Because I could have really easily tried to keep driving through that at 60 kilometers per hour and smash into a tree, and then it's game over. Just slow it down a bit. Get back up to speed. We got a long way to go until we're home. I'm curious how much gas this whole trip uses right here. Like, if it uses a quarter of a tank each time, I basically got to get, like, $500. Or maybe even $600 just to break even, which means I really should be doing multiple poop pickups at once instead of one at a time like I just did because I know somebody mentioned that in the comment, and now I fully agree with them. Anyways, let's get this thing up to speed. 100 kilometers per hour. Keep going. We're going to get back up to that magical 120. 110. Closer, closer. I know there's going to be a corner soon. Okay, come on. Steer left a little bit, but not too much. Oh, I hate steering with the keyboard. Why have I not checked to see if there's a way to steer with the controller? I don't know. Okay, we're going too fast. I can't. I don't feel like I'm in control at the moment. 100, I feel like I'm in control. 120, no, I don't. I feel like I'm just swaying all over the place at those speeds and it's just a matter of time before I crash. There we go. I'm in control again. We are good to go. Full speed ahead. Did I miss my exit? I feel like I've been driving for a while and I was too distracted by everything else going on where it's very possible I missed it. Oh, now this is a scary concern. Maybe not. I don't know. All the terrain looks so similar. I, I can't... I can't really tell unless I see the exit I want. And yeah, I'm out of control. I'm out of control. Don't hit the electricity pole. Don't hit the electricity pole. We'll be fine. Let it go. Slow down. Slow down. And then back on the gas. Trying this again. How many times can I slide out of control in one journey? That truly is the question. And not crash every time, too. Gotta point that out. I haven't crashed on any of those stupid sliding extravaganzas. Every time, I have remained in control by some miracle. I also like this thing makes a noise when I'm bouncing off the rev limiter because half the time I'm not paying attention. So I think that actually is up there the way I want to go, so I didn't go too far. Pretty sure that's it. Like, I remember it's next to a big open field where I want to churn. And that's a big open field, so it's promising. Downshift, downshift, downshift. And one more time. Taking it easy, and now we're going to go pretty slow through here because I really don't trust this thing through here. I trust it on the road a little bit. Here, not at all. In fact, do you want to use a low gear maybe? We'll try just first gear, see what that does. Oh, that works. First gear's fine for now. I don't think I should go much faster than the first gear. Just stick around in that. Whoa, swerving, swerving, swerving. We're good. Why do I feel like I'm in so little control of this thing? I am just all over the road. I guess we could do an upshift. Why not? Get into second gear. Try to keep control over it. I'm not going to try third gear. I'm going to use the rev limiter as a natural way to limit my speed. Because I think this is as fast as I should go through here. Like, this feels a little too fast already. But I can manage. Just barely. Because as you see, I'm only on the road about 10% of the time. 50% of the time I'm half on the road, and then 40% of the time I'm completely off the road. And right here, that's half off the road. Okay, I'm actually on the road right now, so maybe I was a little bit wrong with those percentages. Fine, we're upshifting! Because we got a straightaway. Oh my goodness, this is dumb. I feel like... No. Too fast. Too fast. Alright, slow down, there's a corner. I made it in third gear. I did it. I think coming up soon are the train tracks, and we gotta be real careful about those. Can't trust them trains one bit. We're gonna take a stop, look both ways, and we'll head out. I almost wanna like jump out of the truck and then look because there's such poor visibility because of all like the shrubs and stuff here. Like, look, I can't see if there's a train or not. I'm almost on the train tracks. All right, hold on. Before we get moving, low gear first so we can get out of this with as much speed as possible and go. All right, it's clear, we're good. And we're just flying through these low gears right here. All the way up to six. And let's see, how does low gear do through here? Is that a good gearing? Nah, it's a little too slow. We gotta go to high gear, and then we're gonna drop it down to like fourth or third gear. There we go, third gear. 
keep hitting the wrong button. I keep hitting V instead of B to downshift. I mean, why wasn't it working? Oh, that's because your fingers are too fat. I'm almost home. And apparently the journey home is going to take a whole video because of all that stupid flipping the vehicle over. Nonsense. If the vehicle never flipped, we wouldn't have taken so long, but that really put a dent in all of my plans. Alright, just don't hit the poles and we're good. Third gear. Fourth gear. We're going for it. Fourth gear. Full speed. Taking some risks. I know it doesn't sound that risky, but it feels risky, man. Alright, fifth gear because we're topping off fourth gear apparently. How fast are we going? Oh my goodness, we're going 70 kilometers per hour. Oh no. There's a corner coming up. My natural enemy. I actually managed that pretty well at about 50 kilometers per hour. Alright. I guess I was underestimating this vehicle's capabilities. It can do just fine at about 50 to 60 kilometers per hour through this terrain. I just don't like using the keyboard. That's the main problem, man. Keyboards and driving make everything feel so much scarier now I'm thinking do I want to park this over there no we're gonna go park it right next to my house because you can't smell the poop like if the game implemented smell o vision then yeah I'll keep this thing far far away from here but I can't smell it I don't care if everything smells like poop in the game we're gonna park it right next to my house and then my dude's gonna smell like poop because he's the poop collector everything makes sense and everything is happy oh yeah how much gas do we use so we used about an eighth of a tank and it costed $900 to get three quarters of a tank. So we used about $150 of gas. So we really need to get about $300 just to break even every time we break that thing out. And I can't remember how much I made, but I don't think it was $300. I knew it was a pretty good amount, but not no $300. Anyways, that'll do it for this video. Till next time, this is YBR. I'll see ya.